On the other side, the righteous side felt more conflicted than anyone. Although the catastrophe was of their own making, by now, it gave him the feeling of spilled water that can't be recovered. They still didn't want to completely break ties with the Jondan district. However, just as he was hesitating, his phone suddenly received a message from the God of Love's death. This caused his blood pressure to spike, because what they feared most had happened. The normally calm and composed righteous side couldn't help but punch the car in frustration. After all their careful planning over such a long period, an accident happened just when they were about to succeed. No one could accept this reality. His gaze quickly turned cold. But fortunately, his reason was still intact. He knew that the urgent task was to find a way to make the zombie horde retreat without drawing suspicion to himself. But the suddenness of the event put him in a difficult position. Meanwhile, Zhang Yi received the news of the God of Love's death and smiled faintly. Although there were slight differences from his original predictions, the existence of the God of Love's death had undoubtedly sped up the entire situation. Therefore, Zhang Yi understood that compared to themselves, the Bai Shui sect must be even more troubled. However, the power of the God of Love's death made Zhang Yi somewhat worried because it was like a grim reaper wielding a scythe. Descending from the sky and destroying everything indiscriminately, Zhang Yi then shared this with his beautiful wives at home and instructed them to immediately take shelter in the third underground level. No one was allowed to come up without his notice. The team members who heard Zhang Yi's instructions all became heavy-hearted. Even though they were extraordinary beings, in the face of an attack of this scale, they were no different from ordinary people. Among them, Xu Chunlei reacted the most strongly. As soon as Zhang Yi hung up the phone, he immediately shouted, It's over, it's over, boss, take us and run, we have 24 hours enough time to leave Tianhai City. After hearing this, Zhang Yi calmly replied, they clearly said on the phone, whoever tries to flee will face endless pursuit from Blizzard City. You don't think the zombie horde is scarier than those people from the Jondin district? Do you? At this statement, Xu Chunlei instantly became silent, muttering, what do we do now? They're putting us in a tough spot. Upon hearing this, Uncle Lu sighed, even if we had 3 million pigs, we couldn't catch them all in 24 hours. This is simply an impossible task. At that moment, Zhang Yi uncharacteristically said, Don't worry, this matter is not without a solution. As long as we can prove that the Lion Horde was directed by the Bai Shui sect, all the subsequent problems can be easily resolved. Now, we just need to wait a little while and see how the Bai Shui sect handles this zombie horde. I believe they wouldn't want their grand ambitions destroyed by the God of Love's death, either. Meanwhile, at the Yangsheng base, it was a fortress specifically designed to resist apocalyptic wars equipped with a particularly strong defense system. So, the people there were constantly working on battle strategies. After all, those who had survived were elites, and it couldn't be said that there was no chance of breaking through. Soon, a temporary breakout plan was developed. The key point of the plan was to kill the Lion King in the Ao Mountain area. Since the zombie attack was a proactive offensive, Bian Junwu believed that the Lion King must be right behind the Lion Horde. If they could successfully kill it, the Lion Horde, having lost its command, would not be as fearsome. With that, Mr. Bian consulted everyone on the matter, wanting to see if anyone had better ideas. However, Xiao Honglian scoffed at this plan, believing that the shelter's automated weapons could easily wipe out tens of thousands of zombies. But breaking through with a path of blood? That was impossible. There were simply too many zombies. And among them were a large number of bronze-armored zombies, as powerful as superhumans. If it weren't for them, it might be more doable. But with them present, it was a fool's dream. Mr. Bian thought deeply for a moment, and an image of Zhang Yi flashed through his mind. It seemed that the key to this mission lay with this guy. They could use his ability to break through. Wu Di, after hearing this, was visibly reluctant, because he had never imagined that in his most dangerous moment, he would need to rely on this guy to save him. Jun Wu planned to use waterworks to slow down the zombies' advance. Upon receiving the message, Zhang Yi immediately filled his own space with seawater. However, it remained uncertain whether this method would succeed in breaking the zombie blockade. Just a few minutes earlier, Zhang Yi was driving towards the Yangsheng base, but his satellite phone suddenly rang. When he took it out, he saw that it was Bian Junwu calling. This scene made his imagination run wild. Could it be that they couldn't hold on anymore? Zhang Yi switched to speaker mode because he knew that everyone was curious about the situation at the Yangsheng base. And he intended to let everyone listen. Not only would this ease their concerns, but it would also boost morale. Bian Junwu's cold voice gradually came through. Listen, Zhang Yi, don't rush over here to provide support just yet. First, head to the seaside and use your ability to collect a large amount of seawater. Zhang Yi immediately understood their plan. They intended to use seawater to limit the movement of the zombie horde. 
He then had Liang Yu turn the vehicle towards the East Sea and gave an estimate for the time needed. Zhang Yi calculated that the round trip would take about four hours. So he reminded Bian Yi to wait. Several hours later, all the forces in Tianhai City had gathered several kilometers outside the Yangsheng base. They had chosen a small hill that provided a full view of the lion's nest. Now, all they had to do was wait for Zhang Yi. Though four hours felt unbearably long for them, every minute, every second, was an excruciating wait, as the god of love's death was an insurmountable obstacle in their hearts. Among them, the most conflicted was the righteous side, as he still couldn't understand why the investigation team discovered the existence of zombies. Moreover, time was running out for him, and he had to make a decision. Yet, no matter what choice he made, it felt agonizing. There were only two paths before him. One was to abandon the zombie horde and gain the trust of the Jiangnan district, which would give him the opportunity to slowly cultivate the blood vine and grow the city's population. The other was to kill everyone in Tianhai City, including the investigation team. Obviously, the second option was completely irrational. Setting aside those hiding in the shelter, it would be foolish to completely sever ties with the Jiangnan district. If they angered Blizzard City, Yuan Kongyi's ambitions might wither before they even bloomed. After much consideration, he was forced to make the decision to sacrifice the car and protect the handsome treasure. Though it pained him, this was the only solution he could think of. Moreover, in order to make it seem more convincing, he had cut off communication with the zombie horde hours earlier, so the zombies were now acting purely on instinct. Meanwhile, on the other side, Zhang Yi had spent over four hours filling his space with seawater. He looked at his handiwork, visibly excited, and then called Bian Junwu. However, Zhang Yi warned them not to hold too much hope, as Yangsheng base was surrounded by flat land, and he couldn't flood the area. Bian Yi, however, calmly replied, that's fine, I just need you to buy me some time, so we can break through the zombie horde. Only by breaking through will we have the chance to carry out the plan to kill the Lion King. Zhang Yi nodded and then turned to Liang Yu, saying, find a high vantage point near Yangsheng base, we'll release the water there. Liang Yu gave a big, okay, and reassured him. Don't worry. I know a place with a perfect view of Yangsheng base, and it won't be easily spotted by the zombies. Before long, Zhang Yi and his team arrived at a small hill. Just as Liang Yu described, the entire Yangsheng base was clearly visible from this spot. Upon seeing the scene, Xu Chunlei, looking worried, remarked, Thankfully, the zombies' attention is all on Yangsheng base. Otherwise, if they chased after us, we'd be barbecued. Liang Yu then found the highest point and stopped. Zhang Yi nodded in agreement. After getting out of the car, they were all stunned by the sight of the zombie siege before them. Wherever they looked, there were zombies everywhere, with not even an inch of space left. Xu Chunlei grew more concerned, saying, There are so many zombies. Will seawater even work? Zhang Yi responded without hesitation. Why worry? We'll find out after trying. At that moment, two large, azure gates suddenly appeared before everyone. Zhang Yi wasted no time, and in front of everyone's eyes, two massive torrents of water gushed out from the gates. At that moment, it became clear to everyone, this battle was about to begin. Just moments ago, the seawater released by Zhang Yi from his space transformed into two torrents. Rushing violently toward Yang Sheng base, Zhang Yi turned back, smiling at his teammates. Are you ready for the upcoming battle? Uncle Lu and the others, with determined expressions, responded in unison. We're ready. The roaring sound of the seawater caught the attention of some zombies. As they turned around, they were already engulfed by the surging water. Letting out shrill screeches, the lion horde, upon seeing living humans on the hill in the distance, charged up the slope. Since Zheng Yixian had voluntarily relinquished control over the Lion King, the zombies were now driven purely by their instinct to kill the living. Seeing the large number of zombies rushing over, Zhang Yi's lips curled into a smug smile. It seemed that these zombies were not as organized as they had been in previous attacks. Faced with the impact of the seawater, the zombies were already in disarray. Zhang Yi was ecstatic. Everything was going according to plan, just as he had anticipated. Clapping his hands, Zhang Yi remarked, Yuan Kongye and Zheng Yixian clearly didn't dare to openly confront the investigation team. Well then, let's put an end to your zombie army here. The surging seawater soon drowned tens of thousands of zombies. However, the zombies still instinctively lunged toward the living. At the same time, Bian Junwu, monitoring the situation, saw the zombies being engulfed by seawater and immediately stood up, issuing the command to counterattack. The next moment, Yang Sheng Basie's firepower was unleashed. Dozens of Gatling guns rose from the underground and instantly spewed forth fire. Shooting at the Lion Horde, the zombies trapped inside the base were quickly riddled with bullets. Wei Dingai and the others responded to Bian Junwu's call, 
launching a three-pronged attack on the lion horde from the outside. Wei Dingai activated his powers, and with Zhang Yi's seawater as an aid, he rapidly froze the water, creating ice pillars within the lion horde. Some zombies were instantly launched into the air, and even the formidable bronze-armored zombies were frozen in place by Wei Dingai's abilities. Unable to move, meanwhile, the Xingtian Legion wielded giant axes and charged toward the slow-moving zombie horde. Zhang Yi, holding a sniper rifle, began sniping the frozen bronze-armored zombies from atop the cliff. Zhang Yi then informed Bian Junwu that the number of zombies was overwhelming and that the situation outside wouldn't hold for long. You need to break through quickly, he urged. Upon receiving the message, Bian Junwu immediately ordered the soldiers at Yangsheng base to prepare for a breakout and unleash all their firepower. Seeing a glimmer of hope for a successful escape, Xiao Hanglian couldn't help but beam with joy. Since we only have one chance, let's make it thrilling. Xiao Hanglian then walked over to the control panel, opening a hidden compartment to reveal a red button. Without hesitation, she punched it with her fist. The next second, a loud explosion echoed through the air. Bian Junwu felt the ground shake as a huge mushroom cloud rose above Yangsheng base. Witnessing the scene before him, Zhang Yi exclaimed in awe. That woman Xiao Hanglian sure is ruthless, she even blew up her own refinery. 